Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to LTPS TV. I'm Sports Hire, calling the game from Lawrence High School. I'm here in Lawrence, New Jersey. Today we have today on our broadcast today we have the Lawrence Cardinals versus the Princeton Little Tigers in a, a in a meet of girls and boys varsity swimming. Today it is the Lawrence Cardinals uh, Senior Night. Today we will be honoring such members like Ian Dower, Cameron Blackman, uh, Will Yakmau, Ali Ataba, and uh, Ian Wang, and many more that I uh, cannot think of on the top of my head. But again, that was. And uh, on the girl side of the, uh, the seniors we'll be honoring is uh, Kalina Ginocchio, Emma Byrne. And I believe that's uh, most of the seniors uh, for them. I, I do apologize if I'm leaving anyone out. Uh, but those are the, some of the headlines that we will be honoring tonight for the senior night. They had an excellent four years here, and I wish them the best of luck in college. And meanwhile, we got the Princeton Little Tigers, who have a star freshman to keep an eye out for. And we got our own star freshman, too, with the features of Megan Simpson, Emerson Dolan, Eliza Meth, and Alexander Cherry. And also on the girls' side today, we got Jamie Slutsky, Sonia Little, Anya Shetty, uh, Kaylee Claybline, and... Uh, Many more, and on the boys' side, we also got Matt Demott, Dylan Morris, and uh, Dylan Morris, uh, Ben Lilly, Ibrahim, uh, something like that. But many players like that. And by the way, the Princeton Little Tigers are 10 and one, and the Princeton that on the boys' side of things, and the Princeton Girls Tigers, they are nine and two. And the boys, uh, Cardinals, they're seven and three. Meanwhile, the girls are nine and two. Great start for both of these programs here to, to start. The boys are coming off, uh, boys and girls coming off wins against Hopewell, Ewing, and Trenton. Meanwhile, for the Princeton, they're coming off wins against Hopewell and Notre Dame. Uh, last two, last year when these two teams squared, off, apologies about that. Last time these two teams squared off. The boys were uh, were victorious. Meanwhile, the girls defeated uh, Princeton. So again, boys lost last year. Girls won against Princeton this year. New event this year. We'll see how things different uh, things will be. It should be a very highly contested game. And stay tuned for the broadcast on LTBS TV. Sports Hire bringing it to you. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Today's first event is the girls' 200 medley relay. Swimming for Princeton in lane three. Lou, Zhao, Timbez, and Davis. In lane five, Arsenios, Bowser, Gallagher, and Sharma. In lane one, Weber, Ramirez, Nagger, and Kim. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Dalton, Beth, Cherry, and Ginocchio. In lane two, Simpson, Lewis, Burner, and Slutsky. In lane six, Little, Adam, Kingline, and Burns. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LKPS TV. To kick off our senior night, we will have the 200 medley relay as we start off every meet. And and to start off our to start our meet off, we will have backstrokes for you. Currently now, as we start begin the relay, I believe in first place is Oskir. Oskir is in the first place right now. Oskir in first place, and not too far behind her is uh, Emerson Dalton. Coming up for Oskir is Kim. And coming in for Kim is El Eliza Meth. So Kim on the nice brush stroke. Nice. A good turn by Meth. Now gonna battle out to the finish. It looks like They'll be in the first place. This relay is always a tough start. You know, everyone playing very well in terms of their swimming. So everyone is just gonna try doing as best as they can um, with the swimming. 
First play. Eliza Meth. Now coming in for is uh, uh, Alexander Cherry. And Cherry is going up against Kratzer. And now it looks like Cherry has lead over Kratzer on the butterfly. And Kratzer and Cherry are trying to gain some ground here and trying to get an advantage. It will come down to the final two here for the top spot. And coming in, it will be senior Kalina Ganocchio, who is again going to be a spotlight tonight. And she'll be going against OT. And OT now has a resounding lead over, <coughs> over Kalina Ganocchio. And now over Ganocchio, OT with the top spot here. And OT now finishes in first. And second is Kalina Ganocchio. Now let's look at our third play, our third place. Looking at our third place, it looks like it'll be Lopez. Actually, no, we already had our third place. No, we don't have our third place yet. Lopez, is, I believe, will come in in our third place. So she'll come in in third for Princeton. Coming in on our fourth place will be Jamie Slutsky, who's also a, a field hockey uh, player. I think I mentioned that before in the broadcast, but why not mention it again? Deming comes in in fifth place. And to end our relay and our event it will be Riley Burns coming in in sixth place for the Lawrence Cardinals and that will conclude our 200 medley relay for the girls the lead will be with Princeton the next event is the Lawrence 200 medley relay swimming for Princeton in lane three Tennant, Balin, Valesquez and Reagan in lane five Oskimer, Kim, Kratzer and Ott in lane one, Lopez, Ristead, Wu, and Deming. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Dower, Gamot, Berga, and Smith. In lane two, Lily, Zolk, Morris, and Altabah. Lane six is open. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. medley relay for the boys side of things and to begin us off Ian Dower will be in lane two and Ben Lilly in lane uh, in lane two and uh, Ian Dower in lane four I don't think I mentioned the lanes and my fault for that but anyways Ian Dower now with the lead in lane four and in lane three Ian Dower with the lead lane four not too far behind him is uh, Not too far behind, oh. Sorry, I, I was reading the wrong one. I, I, I am terribly sorry. Uh, I think I read the complete long, long, wrong list for the, for the girls and boys, so my apologies. I didn't, they didn't specify what, but now I see it. So anyways, uh, now, oh, uh, so now it is actually Kim. He is going up against um, Demont right now for the top spot here. And these names are very uh, unisex, uh, last names are unisex, so it's hard to tell as the girls' names or boys' names were not listed. Now it looks like Kratzer will be in the lead. Kratzer has a nice resounding lead in lane one. In lane three, and Kratzer with the lead right now. And uh, behind him is Cole Verga, and Cole Verga gonna try getting as much ground as he can. To end our meet will be Matt Smith. Matt Smith now coming up next to end off our meet for the girl. Matt Smith will end off our meet uh, for the boys in terms of Lawrence. He's in swimming in lane four. And OT swimming up in lane four for the for the swimming in lane four for the bo for the uh, for the boys. And it looks like OT takes the top spot now. OT comes in, in lane in first place. In second place, it's uh, Matt Smith. And coming in in third, it's uh, Ryan. And coming in in second place. Coming in in second place, it is uh, Ra Ali Ataba. 
And coming in in fifth is Deming. And no points for the Lawrence Cardinals on that side. So it's 10 for the score. 10 for the score on both sides of on boys and girls, Princeton with the lead. Six point advantage. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Dalton, in lane two, Sullivan, in lane six, Simpson. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LPBS TV. <laughs> to begin to uh, conclude our um, so the 200 free now for the girls. And to start us off, uh, us off I believe, uh, to start us off, Emerson Dalton. Highlight right now, Emerson Dalton has the top spot right now. She is in the uh, lane four in the top spot. Not too far behind her, it's Kai. And not too far behind her, it's uh, Lulu. Lilu, Lilu. I do apologize if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. Lilu, I believe is the name. And she is going up as Emerson Dalton now way ahead of everyone else. And this is what talent she brings to the team. And she can just gain a lot of ground like that and just be about uh, ahead of everyone else. And you know, that's some key talent that she brings for everyone. So nice job by Emerson Dalton as Emerson Dalton in ahead of everyone else. And no one is gonna catch. And she looks like she's a Ahead of everyone else. So great start for Emerson Dalton, and Kai is going to need to do some catch up here. Uh, but so far, uh, but so far it's just been a uh, been a pretty good start for uh, Emerson Dalton. And she, you know, again, I, I always say this again: the freshmen. They bring up so much talent and they are the star and future of this program. So having someone like Emerson Dahl just be ahead of everyone else, that's crazy. She did break a record earlier this year. So we'll see how well um, Emerson Dolan will be able to do afterwards. So Emerson Dolan and then Kai coming up next. And I think we're going to have to see who will get the third place right now. And third place, it's going to be a battle between Wald, uh, between uh, Lilu and uh, and Katie Sullivan. And Katie Sullivan, looks like Katie Sullivan has the lead. And Katie Sullivan's going to get the third spot. And fourth, it's Lilu. And four, in fifth place, it's uh, Walden. And to top us all off in sixth place, we'll have, uh, we will have Megan Simpson to capitalize us all off. A great finish for the girls, uh, a great finish for the girls as Emerson Dolan the cracks in first place. The boys 200 free for Britain, lane three, Tennant, in lane five, Duke, in lane one, Oskipper. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Yuckmau, in lane two, Illidan, in lane six, Wang. Now the 200 free side of things now, and here we, as we begin the meet, we will have a nice start for uh, the boys. I'm sorry. Um, Tennant will be uh, in the lead right now. Tennant now trailing slowly uh, to. Trailing now. Now Tennant looks like he gains the lead now over Will Yuckmau. Now Will Yuckmau has been a very talented athlete. Many players on the team have said he's one of the best athletes and he's the best all around player. Many players are good at certain positions, but if someone were to put uh, above everyone else, they would say Will Yuckmau 
is the best at, at his job. So Will Yuckmau in top spot right now. And a little behind her, him is Tennant. So they'll have the top spots right now. And Will Yuckmau again, he is, knows how to gain so much ground. And he knows how to play at such a high level. So I think he'll be able to get the top spot here. But we'll see what Tennant will be able to bring. And now in the third spot, John Illidan playing at a very high level. Sorry, yeah, that's John Elden, who's uh, right behind him. He's doing a great job. John Elden coming right behind him, and he'll have the third spot. Second place and fourth place, it's due. Due in fourth, fifth place now, which is the real battle. It's Ethan Wang against... Uh, Ethan Wang against... Uh, against O Skipper for top spot. But anyways, in top spot, we got Will Yuckmau. In second place, it's Tennant. In third place, it's John, no, it'll be Du. John Illidan in fourth. In fifth place, it's Ethan Wang. And coming in in sixth is O Skier. A nice another meet for the boys as they're able to get the top spot with Will Yuckmau. Next up, we'll have the 200 IM. So stay tuned for that. The next event is the girls 200 IM. Swimming for Princeton in lane three, Zhao. In lane five, Pimpness. In lane one, Bowser. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Matt. In lane two, Sharma. In lane six, Lewis. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. To begin our early lead, we'll have Zhao. Zhao in the lane, early lead now easily taken up by Eliza Meth. And Eliza Meth now carries the lead for the Lawrence, Card for the Lawrence Cardinals. 13-7 the score for both teams again. The thing's starting to heat up. And with the girls and boys starting to get first places here, they'll have a chance to go for the win here. But a nice thing about Princeton, which makes them very competitive and makes them very tough, is that they're able to get the first, the second and third places, which can really help them down the scoring line. So Lawrence is going to have to try and do whatever they can to try even getting a third place here, which would be uh, very huge. But right now, I think in the back, uh, now doing backstrokes, Eliza Meth is going to try and maintain her lead. And so far, some of the freshmen have just been able to stay at such a high level and have been able to perform and get first places. So nice job by Eliza Meth as she'll have the first spot. So in third place now, for Lawrence, it's, uh, sorry, third place, uh, in uh, third place it is uh, Tin Eve. And Tin Eve has our top spot. Tin Eve in the first spot. Coming in the first spot, Tin and a nice performance. So, I, uh, sorry, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. So, Tineve is in third place right now. Now, currently, finishes off Eliza Meth going up against Zhao. She's had a nice little lead. Now, Zhao going to try and gain up some ground here. And the battle for third spot, Richa Sharma. And Richa Sharma a little too behind for... Uh, Two a little behind there, so Princeton might actually be able to gain some nice ground as they'll be able to build up a strong lead as they'll have the next top three spots. So Eliza Meth gonna come in in first 
And from the looks of things, it looks like Princeton will gain the next top three spots there. So in terms of scoring, Princeton will be able to keep up now. Zhao with the first spot, uh, second spot. In third place, it's Teneev. And third place, it's in a fourth place, in a third place right currently. And coming in in fourth will be um, Bowster. Coming in in the fifth spot will be um, a battle of, to decide who will come in in fifth. It will most likely be Richa Sharma, but Ella Lewis could make a leap to get the third spot. And Ella Lewis gets the fifth spot. Richa Sharma comes in in sixth. So in terms of scoring now, six points go to Lawrence. That gives him 19. Followed by the f uh, another point to getting in and fit, so they get a total of seven points. Twenty seventeen score. The next event is the boys two hundred I M swimming four Princeton in lane three Boyton in lane five two in lane three Boyton in lane five Kim in lane one Lou swimming for Lawrence in lane four Dower in lane two Verga in lane six Blackman. Early on with the lead, we'll have Mr. Bo uh, Baton. Baton Lin with the nice lead. Baton on the um, on the uh, butterfly now. Yeah, on the butterfly. And Baton starts off our 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 meet with the our our event with the lead in lane four. That is, I'm sorry. I always have to mention the lanes. I'm terribly sorry if I don't mention the lanes. Baton in lane three has the early lead now. And trying to gain up the lead behind him will be, trying to gain the lead behind him is Cole Verga in lane two. Now Cole Verga looks like he takes the game on the backstroke. And Cole Verga now, again, backstroking here, has a, a nice little, a, a slight lead over, a slight lead over Baton. And Cole Verga on the turn. And now Cole Verga will be, and uh, now the, the boys will now be beginning breast strokes. <coughs> Cole Verga had a slight lead. And now Baton, Baton now re resumes the lead. And now Baton resumes it at such a high level. Baton now on a strong lead. And Baton now coming up strong and has a nice lead for Lawrence. And now way ahead, Koberga had a nice lead and nice little comfort behind by Baton as he's now able to get the top slot way ahead of everyone else. And now to finish off the event, Baton will go do a crawl. A, a crawl. And now for the boys, Koberga had the lead. And now does not even have second place no more anymore as Ian Dower. A special senior now maintains the lead. And Ian Dower regains the lead here for Lauren. I'm uh, oh, sorry, Ian Dower comes in in second place, coming in in second place in lane four. Ian Dower coming in crazy, and by the way, Baitland gets third place. So Cole Verga and Ian Dower get. Uh, uh, second and third. Ian Dower coming in in lane four and Cole Verga in lane three. Coming in in fourth place, it's Kim, and in sixth place, it is Lou. So next up, we'll have the 500 free, for both for the boys and girls, and then we'll have our senior night festivities after the 500 free, after the 50 free, not the 500. 500 is way ahead. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. The next event is the girls 50 free swimming for Princeton in lane three Davis, in lane five Arsenios, in lane one Hill, swimming for Lawrence in lane four Ginocchio, in lane two Slutsky, in lane six Little. 
watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. To begin our 500 free, and it has been a nice one so far. And oh, sorry, 500 free. Davis in the lead. Davis kicks off on now. Kalina Ginocchio in lane four, and uh, Davis in lane five. And Kalina Ginocchio, Canocchio, gonna come in in second place, and Davis takes the top prize. First place is Davis. Second place, Kalina Ginocchio. In third place, it is uh, Parsinius. In fourth place, it is uh, Bowser. B Boozer, I don't know. In second place, in uh, the next event is third place. Boys 53, swimming for Princeton. In lane three, Rayan. In lane five, Shaw. In lane one, Sir. Swimming for Lawrence. In lane four, Wang. In lane two, Devon. In lane six, Smith. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. dog there and it's gonna be hard to determine who gets second spot so in second place they're gonna award that to uh, Kratzer in lane five in lane three uh, 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 what is it lane three um, Ian Wang gets the third spot Ian Wang the goat himself in fourth place it is uh, Matt uh, in fourth place it is um, in lane uh, in lane two Matt DeMont uh, in lane six Matt Smith comes in in sixth place and finally, in fifth place, it is uh, Lou. In fifth place, excuse me, it is Shaw. That concludes our meet today. I mean, our uh, first half of the meet. And our senior night festivities will be coming up shortly. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, for that. As uh, those Princeton swimmers will have a 10-minute free swim. Meanwhile, we'll have some senior night festivities for the Lawrence Cardinals. So stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LPBS TV. <clears throat> First, uh, I would like to thank everyone who came out tonight, including uh, the parents, the community, uh, the students who go to the school, the support the team, and all the support so far this year. Uh, I'd like to thank the people of the staff, uh, Scott Private, Mike Leatherwood, for coming out all year long. Chris Rusko is not here tonight, but he tends to be helping us out. Uh, but tonight, we really just want to honor our seniors and thank them for all the hard work they put in this year.
So far, are down by 10 point, uh, 12 points, and the boys are down by 10 points. So, in the lead now, we have Lawrence. Lawrence now trailing slowly to a uh, uh, Cherry. Cherry has actually um, Alexander Cherry now in the. Uh, sorry, excuse me. All right, excuse me. Katie Sullivan now with a slight lead over. Over, uh, over, um, Katie Sullivan on slight lead over Kai. Kai who came, uh, had a first place earlier today. And Katie Sullivan now a little bit behind now. And now coming, uh, Lawrence now with the nice, now Katie Sullivan trying to regain the momentum. And Katie Sullivan now gonna be a little inch off short of first. So they're gonna give Kai the first spot. Second was Katie Sullivan. Third was Alexander Cherry. Fourth place was um, fourth place. I believe that was Hale. Uh, that was Hale. And Tilly comes in in fifth. And sixth place to end off our meet will be Sonia. Will be Kelly Claybine. The next event is the boys 100 meter butterfly swimming for Princeton in lane 3, Valesquez, in lane 5, Lou, in lane 1, Ristad. Swimming for Lawrence in lane 4, Yuckbound, in lane 2, Black, in lane 6, Smith. Air on the 
score on the shot clock. All right, now to begin our nice early meet of the 400 flyby. Lawrence now in possession of the lead with the early lead now. It looked like it was Cameron Blackman who had the lead. Now it looks like it's going to be a battle between Cameron Blackman and Will Yuckmau for the lead right now and it's so far been very intense. And there goes Cameron Blackman in the top second spot. Will Yuckmau now trying to get the first spot over him. And not too far behind either of them. But slightly a little bit behind is currently in lane five. So Cam Will Yuckman now just come out way ahead of everyone else. Now Will Yuckman the top. So now Cameron Blackman though battling for the first one. He's going up against um, Vilaquez. And Vilaquez gets the top spot. Third place is Cameron Blackman. Fourth place it's um, Lou. Fifth place, it is uh, Matt Smith. And coming in in the sixth place, it's Ratstad. Nice job by Will Yuckmau. And nice job again by Cameron Blackman, able to come uh, really have a nice little composure there. But a, a more excellent job, though, by, um, I would say, by Vila Quest to get the second spot. Able to maintain his, uh, keep on his mind and work hard and able to come back and get the second spot. So what a nice job by Will Quest and Will Yuckmau, great all-around player, gets the top spot. Coming up next, we'll have the 200 free. The next event is the 100 World free. 100 meter freestyles. We'll be for Princeton in lane three, Davis. In lane five, Lou. In lane one, Sharma. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Dalton. In lane two, Pinocchio. In lane six, Shetty. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LPPS TV. Early lead, we will have Kalina, uh, sorry, not Kalina Gonokia, we will have Davis, Davis now, who had a, who had the uh, top spot in, a, who got first place in the 53. Now Davis looks like she's behind in the second place. And Davis now trailing, I believe that is uh, Emerson Dolan. Emerson Dolan. Emerson Dolan on the trail. And Emerson Dolan, now again, she who took her first place earlier. Emerson Dolan came in in first in the 200 free. And now Emerson Dolan gets her first top spot in 100 free and she's going crazy. And Emerson Dolan, ahead of everyone else, gets 100 first. Second place is Davis. And Kalina gets the third place. No, so get to the fourth. From my angle, it looks like she got the uh, she got she got fourth place. Lilu who gets third. Fourth is uh, Kalina again. Fifth is. Uh, the next event is the boys 103 swimming for Princeton in lane on your three. In lane got uh, fifth place. In lane Sixth one, place was uh, a bias. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Wang. In lane two, Willard. In lane six, Ethan Wang. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LPPS TV. Like it'll be Flu, Fu, sorry, Rain, Ray Rain, who, who took the top spots in the 200 medley relay and the 100 free, the 50 free, excuse me, is now swimming in the 100 free. And most of these guys, you know, in the free lanes, they know how to dominate and they know how to get spots like this. 
So, Rayan for the for for uh, West for Princeton has the top spot right now, and it's getting a little bit closer with the boys. By the way, it's a six-point game right now. It's a six-point advantage for Princeton, but the boys are starting to get closer. Matt Demont now right behind, right behind, um, uh, right behind uh, Rayan, and Rayan right behind him. And Rayan now gonna make another cross. No, he'll not. Rayan gets the first place. Second place, Matt Demont in lane in lane four. In third, it's uh, oh no, excuse me, that's Ian Wang. How dare I say Matt? Demont. It's Ian Wang. How dare I mention the goat? Excuse me, Ian Wang, the goat, second place. Uh, good player, Ian Wang, second place. Third place, it's uh, John. It's um, Shaw. Fourth place, it's John. Uh, fourth place, it's uh, Kratzer. Fifth place, it's John Illidan. And in sixth place, sixth place, that will be Ethan Wang, Ian Wang's little brother. So Ian Wang comes in in second place, not Matt Demont. Matt Demont's not. Matt Demont won't be swimming till the 200 free relay. So. In lane five, Camille Lignani. And in lane one, Abessi. Before Lawrence, in lane four, Cherry. In lane two, Burn. In lane six, Burns. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on WBS TV. Anya Shetty. All right, the 500 free going to be a lengthy one here. And Anya Shetty already onto the, and uh, excuse me, Alexander Cherry, not Anya Shetty, Alexander Cherry. A little bit of mix there, but Alexander Cherry, Alexander Cherry, who is in the fourth place right now. She has the top spot, Alexander Cherry, in lane four. In the second spot, kind of hard to tell as everyone's swimming in a nice synchronized way. But uh, Emma Byrne, I think, who is a senior, by the way, so keep your eyes peeled for her. Emma Byrne is a senior, and she's in second place. So she will be... in second place. Well, Alexander Cherry now in the top spot. Then a nice job today. Emma Byrne, a nice senior. She's been on the program for about uh, four years. He's a very gifted athlete. Swims with a lot of power. And is very dedicated, motivated. And is always able to perform at the level uh, she's able to perform at. She's has been one of a, a resounding athlete for this um, Lawrence program in uh, the, the, the four years she had here. I got to know her, she's a really good friend. So I think, you know, Emma Byrne is gonna be uh, really missed with the whole, in Lawrence, she's gonna be missed for sure. Uh, she, uh, um, um, you know, roles replaceable, I don't know, we don't wanna get into that, but I think she had a really great time here in her four years here swimming. Uh, for the Lawrence Cardinals, she did a great job. She actually, I believe, came from Princeton um, earlier in his career, so she's actually going up against her former town uh, a while a while back. I believe it was Princeton. I could be wrong. I do apologize, Emma, if I'm getting that wrong. But she actually did transfer here around, I believe, before middle school. So she had some history here. Then she came to uh, Lawrence, and a very great year here for Emma Byrne. She's a very talented athlete, and again, she will be missed. Um, but the Lawrence Cardinals again, of course, these seniors are graduating. You have really top, top players in Emerson Dolan, uh, Alexander Cherry, who, who is in the lead right now and way ahead of everyone else. Emerson Dolan, Alexander Cherry, Megan Simpson, and Emer Emerson Dolan, and Eliza Math. I think I mentioned Emerson Dolan twice. But em and these are really good freshmen. And with the whole reemergence of these freshmen, you know, they're 8 and 2. So this team is still going to be able to contend, for my opinion, in the state title. 
Um, it's not going to be easy because you got teams like West Windsor South, who, by the way, did knock off this team, Princeton, a couple times. So it's not going to be easy. Uh, nothing in life is ever easy, but anyways. West Windsor South and West Windsor North are really top teams. And let's hope these guys can get the rematch. I don't know who, how well it will be because the freshmen, they had a lot more years to prepare. So I think they'll be more prepared when they play up against West Windsor South or any other talented teams. But first and foremost, they need to close out the win. They're, these guys are down by 12 right now. So they need to find a way to close out and get the win here and try and win it here. They're down by 12 points. So let's see if the, uh, the guys and girls can uh, maintain composure and try and get the win. As they are again once more down by 12 points to the girls. And Alexander Cherry, who's lapping uh, the, the third place, or second place right now, puts them in the right direction as she has the top spot. Alexander Cherry. And top dog right now. She's been, a, I think, believe she's been a freshman. Great year for her. And she's actually, by the way, on her last lap. And I'm gonna apologize. Something in my mouth. So, that's on me. But, <coughs> excuse me. Anyways. My apologies about that. Anyways, uh, Alexander Cherry, who's on her last lap, will try and go for the win. Win here. Which will try, and the girls down by 12. They're going to need a nice, uh, they're going to get uh, a first place here. So they're sizing up the gap here. As she is down, as Alexander Cherry gets the top spot. First place. And second place is up for grabs right now. And to end us off, Emma Byrne. She's all done. She's gonna finish this off. And Emma Byrne, likely to end our meet. She'll come in in second place, hopefully speaking. Fingers crossed. Emma Byrne, second place, Emma Byrne, let's go. 10 points for the Cardinals. 51. They have 51 points now. As long as they don't get the final place, uh, the sixth place, I'll have a chance to get some points. And in fourth place, it is fourth, uh, fourth place. <coughs> it's it's a uh, knee. And in sixth, in fifth place, in fifth place, in fourth place, Riley Burns. So the cart in a sixth place, no one's actually listed here for sixth place. Fu gets fifth place, by the way. So anyways, the girls, so the Cardinals are gonna score two. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. So it's 52 the to 57 the score now. In lane three, Fu. In lane five, Nye. Lane one is open. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Lily. In lane two, Morris. In lane six, Zoe. free to begin the map. A lot of laps in this one. So Dylan, uh, Ian Wang, not swimming right now. Ben Lilly is in the fourth place right now. And things are gonna get a little bit closer now and heating up. Let's see if the Ben Lilly can lead us to another victory. And now while we have a big 500 free, I wanna take note of a lot of seniors. Casper Zoltz, I did not mention at all. My apologies, Captures, Casper. Casper is a very great, talented athlete. He is uh, not swim, not had a big spotlight, but you know, sometimes when you don't swing, swim in the top spots, and you don't swim in the top spots, 
you know, everyone plays a role. And talking with this team, everyone has a role regardless. As long as you're swimming, everyone has a role. And the role is simply, the coach's way they tell me, is to prevent getting the sixth spot. Because even if you get the fifth spot and, the, and, you, and your team doesn't finish last, you'll have that point and the team will not score a point if they get in sixth place. So Casper, I would say, has been a very talented athlete. You know, he's been able to perform at the level. He's been able to, uh, I would say, live up to his expectations in terms of what we've expected from him. I think he's been a very great athlete and I, am, and I think he will be missed from this program as well. There is no doubt about that. I think he will be missed and he will be remembered uh, for his uh, contribution and his work here. So I think Casper Zolch is a very talented athlete and he will be dearly remembered uh, for his years here and we'll, and I can't wait to see and I, and I hope he does very well in college. So Casper Zolch swimming in 500 free. Ben Lilly, by the way, in sort of Couple other uh, seniors I want to mention uh, for the boys, I guess. Uh, I mean, we got to start off with, the, I call him the greatest of all because, you know, he's he, he, everyone looks up to him. Uh, Ian Wang. Ian Wang, uh, by the way, I'm a senior too, so I'm graduating this year. But anyways, Ian Wang is a senior, and uh, he is my he's uh, our, my class is a uh, salutatorian. So he's a very talented, a uh, very smart, intelligent man, and he, he's very intelligent, uh, very intelligent. He's also very talented. Swims up in lane force. He's able to a real, absolute wrecking force, and he has just been unbelievable, and just been able to perform at such high levels. And I and I and I'm gonna miss Ian Wang for sure. He's been a great friend. And I'm going to miss him a lot. Ian Wang has been a very talented athlete, salutatorian. There's so much he does and there's so much you can ask him. This guy can dominate in anything you ask him to do. He's amazing. And his brother, Ethan Wang, uh, who I heard really great things about. I hope he can you know, live up to the, to the level I I Ian Wang has. Uh, Ian Wang, I believe he might be going to Stanford, so I'm not sure yet. But and uh, that's a really high honor for Ian Wang, so great looks for him. Uh, Ian Dower, another great athlete. He's a multi-sport athlete, I believe. He uh, swims and he does baseball, plays baseball a lot. He's been very talented at both sports. I love what I saw from Ian and I'm very excited to see him all playing baseball later this season. But Ian Wang, is, uh, Ian Dower has been a very nice friend. He's a very intelligent child. He is actually the class's, uh, my class's historian. He's been able to raise a lot of money. I like Ian, Ian Dower so much. He's a really great guy, really nice man to talk to. And I wish him the best of luck in college and he's been a great friend and you know again as an athlete in swimming especially he's been able to perform at very high levels he's been the hype man always says uh you know always hypes up the team every level and by the way ben Lilly, i believe is on his final lap maybe so uh but ian wang ian dower you know hypes his crowd up he's a really he's a really great body man of this team and ian dower is really going to be missed again he performs at such a high level and uh for those of you we will see ian dower in baseball and he's going to be having a lot of scoring a lot of runs and scoring a lot of bats, so I can't wait to see Ian Dower play baseball. But he will be missed, he's been a very great friend. Uh, another person to mention is uh, Will Yuckmau. Will Yuckmau, again, people have told me on this team. By the way, Ben Lilly is gonna finish up last. Will Yuckmau, a lot of people say he might be the best player on this team. He's able to dominate in every single possession, best all around swimmer. Will Yuckmau is a great friend, he's very smart too. I hope I can see great things again. He has been able, an absolute dominant force, just absolutely been able to wreck every single time he's able to swim, always dominant, and every time he swims, you can never count him out. He's always able to come back from behind and able to get first or second spots. Will Yakamau has just been very talented and is just best all around dude, very nice guy, very great friend. And you know, every time he swims, he's been a great, he's been able to perform at such high levels. And every time you put him in, never ever count Will Yakmao because he's so good, he's so talented, and I cannot wait, and I'm gonna miss him so much, and I hope he does very great things in college because he is a very great wrecking force on this team. Ben Lilly gets his first spot, second place. It's, I believe that is Casper uh, Zolch uh, in the second, no, no, Del Morris, the GOAT, Del Morris, very great player, lacrosse, all time goalie, great friend. I can't wait to see what I see from Del Morris, but Del Morris is the best. That does it. And cast results comes in in third place. So great job by everyone today. Oh, sorry. Six. And fourth place will be um, Zhao. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV.
The next event is the Earls 200 free relay. Swimming for first in lane three, Walden, Tinevez, Lou, and Kai. In lane five, Hill, Bunku, Bowser, and Sharma. In lane one, Dagger, Jamio, Magnani, Ramirez, and Abasi. Swimming for North, Lane 4, Sullivan, Shetty, Cherry, and Pinocchio. In Charma, Anand, Kmart, Flutsky. In lane 6, Simpson, Lewis, Burns, and Holt. It's been a nice little neck and neck now for the 200 free relay. Katie Sullivan, and now breaking away with the lead now is Lou. And Lou now has the lead, now Katie Sullivan looks like she got it back. And Katie Sullivan now with the wrecking force, and Katie Sullivan now in the lead here. And coming up next for Lou will be, Os oh, excuse me, not Lou. Uh, Uh, Walden, Teneve. Walden was just in now. Now Teneve has a top spot. And things are really heating up now. It's 54 to 56. And 53 57 for the girls. So a four point advantage for Princeton, but things are really heating up. And it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. It is not over yet. It's going to come down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Coming down to the wire. Next up is a. Uh, Lou, Lou Lee now coming up next in, uh, in, four, in, in lane four, uh, lane three, excuse me, in lane four now for Lawrence. It's, uh, it's um, Anya Shetty, I think. Uh, Alexander Cherry, excuse me. Alexander Cherry now, nice turn. Alexander Cherry now is going to have to try and get a, give an opportunity for Kalina Ginocchio to try. She'll go up against Kai, and now it looks like Lou Lee is able to get a nice dominant for force. And now Kalina Ginocchio needs to get some catching up to do, but I think she can do it. She needs a great turn here and try and get the girls back into this uh, swim meet. They might be trailing by a couple more points. Nice turn by Kalina Ginocchio. Ginocchio, and now she's in second place, and now she may have to preserve and try and get in second place. Sharma now in lane three, and she might get the fourth plot. Let's look at our fourth place finisher. Four and five most likely will go to uh, Lawrence. So we'll see if they can continue. And that, that is uh, Alexander Cherry. Uh, that is uh, Kelly, uh, Jamie Slutsky and, uh, and Sonia Little. And Sonia Little and Jamie Slutsky are able to get four and five. So the lead is gonna be, uh, so the scoring wise. Um, four, two, one. Seven points for the girls in that. Really the next nice event is the boys 200 free relay. So they for Princeton in lane three, Lou, Oscarberg, Kratzer, and Shaw. In lane five, Ristad, Deming, Ott, and Du. In lane one, Lopez, Saberta, Lou, and Nye. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Blackman, Damak, Yuckmau, and Wang. In lane two, Illidan, Wang, and Smith. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. <laughs> on the 200 free relay for the. Uh, 200 free relay now. David Lou in the lead here. And now Lou. Lou with the lead. And now Lou's lost it now in lane three. Now regaining possession now for the lead is, uh, is Cameron Blackman. Cameron Blackman, all star player. And Cameron Blackman now gives it Matt DeMont now coming up. Matt DeMont now going to try 
and preserve the lead now. He's got two Princeton players breathing down his throat as they're coming really closely and they're like sharks in the water trying to eat the little man uh, like sharks. They literally are sharks. I'm scared, terrified. Matt Tamont ready up for the thing now, preserving a lead now. Matt Tamont a little bit ahead of his two competitors. And Will Yuckmau coming up next. Will Yuckmau now coming up next and Will Yuckmau has the advantage. Will Yuckmau now on the turn. And Will Yuckmau, great turn. And able to preserve a, w a victory here would be huge. <clears throat> Followed by Will Yuckmau as he's able to uh, get a nice place is Ian Wang. And Ian Wang gonna try and end the meet here and trying to get the first place here and trying to so and, uh, trying to close up the lead between Lawrence and Princeton. It's a two point advantage right now for Princeton. But Ian Wang is gonna prevent any more things like that. These boys and these girls are still in it here. It's gonna come down to the wire, I'm telling you. It's gonna come down to the 400 yard. 400 meter, uh, 400 feet relay. Ian Wang, first place. Second and third is Princeton. More specifically, it's Lou and, and uh, Lonez in lanes three and five, respectively. In lane four, it's um, it's uh, Matt Smith. Lane six is open, so the uh, so Princeton's gonna get a free point here. Or they might not even count it. I don't know what they'll do with that. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Eight points for Lawrence in that program. Is the girls' 100 meter backstroke. It remains a two point lead. In lane one, Weber. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Byrne, Simpson, and Plotsky in lane six. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Score update for everyone, and you can tell on the scoreboard, but I'm gonna say it anyways. It's 62 62 boys all tied up. Meanwhile, the girls, it's a 10 point advantage, and it looks like it's gonna even increase right now by the way things are looking. As Lawrence now has a third, as um, the girls have a third place lead, Walden. <coughs> Excuse me. Tulu in the backstroke, and Tulu way ahead of everyone else. And Tulu is, as you want to say, on a league of her own, and she's lapping everyone. Tulu ahead of everyone else. And Lawrence is going to be down by a lot more points now. But they can come back still. They just seem to be strong and composite. Lou. Tulu in the top spot right now. For the girl, for the girls. Emma Byrne and, uh, doing a backstroke, and she behind in lane four. And Emma Byrne now gonna try getting to the top spot here, top dog. But the girls are gonna be down by a lot of points now. <coughs> As it looks like Emma Byrne got second place. Third and three and four go to Princeton. And uh, four and uh, five and six go to Lawrence. So Lawrence only scored five points on that, rela on that event. And they'll have 62 points. Meanwhile, uh, Princeton scored six plus three plus one. They scored 10, so now it's 77 to 62. Swimming for Princeton in lane three, Tenet. In lane five, Alistair. In lane one, Oscar. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Virga. In lane two, Zell. In lane six, Lily. Now it's a tied game. Let the battle begin between Lawrence and Princeton, part two. And already Princeton wants the lead. It's about who wants it more. You gotta battle for everything. 
So right now, Tennant in the lead right now. Cole Verga now behind him. Cole Verga now a little bit behind him. Cole Verga now has to do whatever he can to try and get in the top spot here. And Cole Verga, a little sizing gap right there. And Cole Verga down by a few there. Cole Verga needs to try and uh, get the top spot. Second place right now, though. Not looking very good. As Cole, as uh, looks like Princeton has some really great brack strokers. Let's see if Cole Verga can try, and I don't think he might. Come on, Cole Verga. Cole Verga now a little bit drilling. Tenant. And Tenant gets a like at the top spot. Backstrokes are tough, I'll tell you that. And first place it's Tenant. Second place is Cole Verga. Third place it's Velasquez. Third place, fourth place, Oskier. Fifth place. Casper Zolch, and in sixth place, it's I I Ian Wang. No, sorry, Ben Lilly. So Princeton now has about, a, about I believe, a five-point lead now. So 100 breaststroke now. Girls' side. Swimming for Princeton in lane three. Now in lane five, Tenevez. In lane one, Bowser. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Matt. In lane two, Shetty. In lane six, Sean. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LPBS TV. Now, all right, so it's 67 to 73. 62 to 67, I think that's a score error. It's actually 77, 62 girls. All right now they're down by 15 now. Fresh strokes here. Or oh, they're not gonna count the scores. It's a five point game right now. Five point advantage for Princeton. Walden with the lead. Walden with the advantage. And now Lawrence with a strong lead. Strong lead here by Lawrence again, and uh, Lawrence now with a strong lead and a finish. Emerson Dolan coming into the top spot for the girls. I'm sorry, Eliza Meth. Second place, um, but uh, still a bad uh, sign as uh, Prince is able to get the next top three spots. Anya Shetty gets the seventh spot. And that will seal it there. Princeton will win against the girls. Lawrence was only able to score seven points there. Meanwhile, Princeton was able to score nine, so they will win. Princeton gets the win. It was a nice, hotly contested match, the uh, but Princeton Lawrence will come out victorious against the girls. Swimming for Princeton in lane three. Boynton in lane five. In lane one, two. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Demott. In lane two, Dower. In the battle to win it all. The Cardinals are down by six points now. But Lawrence is down by six points. The Princeton, they're gonna need a win here to try and get closer on the breaststrokes. Matt Damont. Trailing right now, Fu Baton, who had an early win earlier, has is in the top spot right now in lane three. And now it's gonna be a big battle now to try and get the sixth place. Ian Dower now on the press stroke. And they're out the top three spots now. 
Lauren just got a brush stroke its way to the finish. And if they get the top three spots, that'll be huge. As Lawrence will only be able to score three points. And they'll score 11. And the brush strokers, these guys are amazing brush strokers. And I believe that will do it now. And the brush strokers finish. Princeton gets all three spots. And Princeton comes out and victorious in the top three. We'll have the final relays and then that'll be it there, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. The next event is the Burton 400 Freestyle Relay. Swimming for Princeton in lane three. Walden, Lou, Kai, and Davis. In lane five, Uncle, Hill, Sharma, and Zhao. In lane one, Parsenio, Kirk, Kim, and Ramirez. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Matt, Byrne, Sullivan, and Dalton. In lane two, Sharma, Little, Anand, and Shetty. Lane six is open. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. The final relay for the girls, a very great finish for the girls. They did a nice job. They battled all the way throughout. However, they were just unable to come out on top. Princeton, a very great organization, very great coaching staff. And uh, I hope that they uh, do very well. And, uh, you know, really great program they run over there. And I wish them the best of luck. Going on again, another senior I want to mention, Kalina Ginocchio, who is graduating, who's been a phenomenal player swimming in the 550 free. She has been able to dominate every time she's been in that position. She's been able to live up and so much. Uh, throughout the years I've seen her, she's able. she's been very dominant swimming in the lane four. And I wish Kalina the best of luck uh, going in college. She's been a very great person. And I hope she does very great in college. Wish her best of luck, she's been a talented. That'll do it for the girls, though, in terms of seniors. I think Anya Shetty and a lot of other people are going to have to step up, though. And now Lawrence in top spot. Princeton will get the win here. And no one's been able to switch out yet. Or maybe soon. Like no one's lined up for the next relay. All right, so that will be... Uh, uh, I believe Eli Eliza Meth, she's in the top dog right now. She's swimming in lane four right now. She has the advantage. <coughs> Eliza Meth uh, coming in in the... Oh, they already uh, sent their next troops in. Eliza Meth now a little trailing behind... Um, Walden, I think, or... Yeah, Wal Lu Lu Li Lu. Lee Lu now in the top stall here. 69 to 87. 70 86. The scores will probably go up, but that'll do it now. Princeton able to uh, runs a nice program. Wish them the best of luck. Rest of the season. Let's see if they can challenge the other West Windsors and try and compete for a state title. But there's a lot more talented teams outside the CBC, so we don't even know what's going on outside of New Jersey, outside of our CBC. There could be great teams, and we'll see if they can contend for a state title here. 
Wish him the best of luck, though. So, yeah, top spot here. Lilu uh, is still in the first place, though. Great performance by the Princeton today. Girls, seniors, especially. Uh, wish them again them, uh, to all of them. Best of luck in college. I wish everyone the best of luck in college and their and their lives. Because I'll be graduating, so I hope uh, that the girls do very well. And I think when you have swimmers like Emerson Dalton, Eliza Math, Megan Simpson, Alexander Cherry, so many other players, you don't know what you're going to get with these teams, and you don't know what it will bring. So I'm saying that I think that these guys are all going to be on a really things. And I think <coughs> with the development and the amazing coaching by the Hillary coach, she did a great job this year. Maybe even in consideration for the coach of the year. I already have my pick for coach of the year, though. I think it's already been determined. I will not say it, though. Maybe not now, but I'll say who my coach of the year is later. Uh, but anyways, first place goes to Princeton. Second place goes to Lawrence. Third place on the in lane. Third place in lane. Third place, in, uh, second place in lane uh, goes to uh, Lawrence in lane in lane four. First place goes to Princeton in lane three. So still waiting on the uh, finishes here, and I think Princeton gets the three and four. And uh, Lawrence will just finish in the fourth place there. Amazing finish for the Princeton, and Princeton goes on to win it, and they will continue their dominance, and they are now 10 and two. Girls swimming team is 10 and two. Today's last event is the boys four meter three relay. Swimming four, Princeton in lane three, Shaw. Lane four, Tennant, Boynton, and Rayan. In lane five, <coughs> Valasquez, Ristad, Kim, and Du. In lane one, Deming, Ah, and Isabedra. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Yuckmau, Blackman, and Dower. In lane Illidan, Wang, Zulk, and Berga. In lane six, Ladinsky, Lily, River Ladinsky, Lazinski, excuse me, and Ibrahim. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. <coughs> Whoosh, let's go, let's end it our meet. Let's go end it here on a strong note for the boys. But, uh, you know, really great job by the boys today. They battled, they battled, they battled all the way till the finish. Uh, they might have, uh, I think, uh, by the scoring, they may come up just short, though. But they played really good. They battled to the finish. And uh, hat tip to the boys. They did a good job today. Princeton boys, though, they did a very good. They're a talented program. I wish them the best of luck as we continue on throughout the year. I'm very excited to see what they'll be able to bring as we go forward. But Will Yuckmau, again I mentioned the greatness of Will Yuckmau, he's really talented. And uh, now as we uh, begin, Will Yuckmau goes in. Here's a swimmer I forgot to mention or I didn't have time to mention. But Cameron Blackman, who is a very good friend of mine, he is very talented. Uh, he's a, just a really great friend of mine. Uh, he's a very great swimmer. He had a lot of great, uh, a lot of great events this year. You know, coming out in first this year, he was very underrated coming in this year. He's become one of the top swimmers this year. And Cameron Blackman is definitely going to be wished. I wish him the best of luck going into college. He's been a very great friend, very not one of the nicest men you'll ever meet. Um, and you know, and he, and you know, and this year, you know, he had a nice role, you know, maybe even again, he was told to get three points. You know, sometimes he got first place a lot of times. He's able to be dominant and able to come in crazy and able to just, just to maintain the focus and just come in strong and maintain focus and get top spots. And Cameron Blackman, who's swimming in lane four right now, 
has been a very great friend. I wish him the best of luck in college. And uh, hopefully maybe he swims more because he is really talented. And I think he really broke away. And I think if you give him a couple more years, he can we maybe one day, hopefully, fingers crossed, see him in the Olympics. But Cameron Blackman, very talented athlete. I'm very excited to see him graduate. He's a very great friend. Best of luck to Cameron Blackman going into college. Uh, another swimmer we have, and I'm again, maybe my last swim broadcast. Um, I don't think it is, but if it is, uh, you know, Matt DeMott. Sorry, that's uh, Ian Wang. Ian Wang, again, the GOAT. I don't really need I mean, I, I'm left speechless when I need to describe Ian Wang. Uh, Ian Wang's a accolades, just, uh, just, uh, just uh, explain for himself. Ian Wang is the best person I've ever met. So, you know, Ian Wang is Ian Wang. And Ian Wang is Ian Wang. He's the, be the, the best person I know. Ian Wang. Self-explanatory. I'm left speechless when I have to say what, what do I, what's so good about Ian Wang. I'm speechless. He's so good. Another swimmer to mention is Ali Ataba. He's been a really good friend. He's been able to perform at very high levels. You know, very good job. Able to come into this program and able to compete at a very high level, even in the tough months of Ramadan. Just able to keep maintain focus, able to fast and swim, and able to compete at a high level. So I'm going to miss Ali Ataba. Wish him the best of luck in college. He's been a very fantastic swimmer. And I wish him the best of luck in college. Again, really great friend. And you know, every time he swims, you know, is able to compete at a high level. Whenever the circumstances are down, able to come out and compete high level, able to keep his strong integrity, and able to dominate every time he swims. Ali Ataba, really great swimmer. I'm gonna miss all these swimmers, uh, all these boy swimmers. Yeah. They're all talented, they're all great, and they're all amazing. And I'm gonna miss each and every single one of them. In my three years commentating the swimming broadcast, these have been some of the best swimmers I've seen ever. I haven't really seen too many swimmers, but you know, obviously they make the best, but you know, I'm gonna miss each and every single one of these seniors and all the swimming pro program here. I don't believe this is my last broadcast. If I hope it's not, I really hope it's not. Maybe it might be, actually I have to check the schedule, I hope it's not. I don't think it is, but there's a chance it could be. But I'm, I love the whole swimming program, and you know, I'm gonna miss everyone. Really great program they have here, and I wish I and everyone, uh, actually yeah, it might be my last broadcast, so I'm gonna prepare my goodbye uh, at the end of this. But uh, yeah, first place comes in, at it's Princeton. Second place, Ian Dower. Third place, it's uh, Matt Smith. Fourth place, it's uh, Princeton. Fifth place, Princeton, and sixth place, Princeton. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our broadcast today for the senior night. The Lawrence uh, Princeton Little Little Tigers were victorious. They won twice, 2-0. Great job by the uh, Princeton Little Tigers. Great coaching by everyone today. They did an absolute phenomenal job. They're a very talented team, and uh, I hope they compete for a title. Lawrence Cardinals were a bit iffy today, but I think they'll do a lot better. Going forward, you know, they, you know, they, they they battle all the way to the finish. Unfortunately, they couldn't come out in the end. But hey, they're a great team. They're strong. They're they're fun. They're, they're they're very competitive and they're very physical. And I can't wait to see what happens going forward in the future. And I'm Sports Tire signing out. Adam Dalton is my cameraman, and that concludes our broadcast today. Sports Tire signing out. The Lawrence uh, Princeton Little Tigers winning here, here on LWS TV. Sports Tire signing out. <laughs>